Satanic Temple Battles Idaho's Abortion Ban. On September 30th, the Satanic Temple, known as the TST, filed a lawsuit against the current abortion laws in the state of Idaho. The lawsuit claims the laws violate religious freedom, property rights, and involuntary servitude. The case is against the state's trigger law, which bans almost every type of abortion. The Satanic Temple stated that under the abortion law, an involuntarily pregnant woman would be forced to provide a fetus with hormones, nutrients, oxygen, body heat, and antibodies, protecting the unborn child from external dangers. This amounts to involuntary servitude. Um, oh, I lost my place. Violating the 13th Amendment. Furthermore, the TST stated that the state discriminates against many pregnant women by only permitting abortion for those who were RAPE'd or who were in an incestuous relationship, but not for an accidental pregnancy, hence violating the Equal Protection Clause. And finally, the TST claimed that their religious freedom had been violated due to these laws by forbidding the members of the temple from engaging in the satanic abortion ritual. In this ritual, a pregnant person is reminded that their body is theirs and not subject to violation by others. So I thought this was really cool. Well, one, because the Satanic Temple is just cool. Um, but um, I they make a bunch of really interesting legal arguments that I never would have considered. Um, first, well, Armin, what's your initial reaction? What is it with property rights? How does that make sense? Okay. So let me find um, the... Okay. Wait. I need to find exactly where we talk about this. Okay. So here we go. The lawyers on the temple's behalf assert that the uterus of an involuntarily pregnant woman should be treated as a physical thing where property rights can be applied since eggs can be either retained or removed. The uterus, herself, the uterus itself can be removed if needed. The law lawsuit challenges that these property rights cannot be violated without proper compensation according to the 5th and 14th Amendments. The temple also claims that under the abortion law, an involuntarily pregnant woman would be forced to provide a fetus with all the things, you know, required to create life, um, asserting that this amounts to involuntary servitude, violating the 13th Amendment. Um, the Idaho abort quote, the Idaho abortion ban provide no compensation or consideration to involuntarily pregnant women for providing the services necessary to sustain the life of a protected unborn child that occurs and use occupies and uses her fetus. The complaint reads the pregnant people are put into the condition of involuntary servitude in violation of the 13th amendment. Do, does this, do you think this will have any chance? It's just, it's a weird way to go about defending so um, there was abortion. one lawyer who said that their reading of the 13th Amendment in terms of involuntary servitude, based on his reading, is not very strong. Because, like, mm. going to jury duty, for example, which is a civic duty of all U.S. citizens, that is not considered involuntary servitude. Right. So on based on other precedents of what is and is not considered involuntary servitude, like that argument itself might not have much of a shot. But there are other aspects of this that may be much more solid. Primarily um, the clause and claims regarding violations of religious freedom. Because there are lots of standards for religious freedom where that's like what is what is and is not a religious practice is not necessarily established by the court on the basis of what is in the scripture it's on the basis of a sincerely held belief so and what religious freedom would you be violating the satanic temple has specific rituals regarding abortions and it's it's violating their tenets regarding having freedom over one's own body bodily autonomy basically so um if this works any woman who wants an abortion in the united states in the states that doesn't allow it has to join the satanic temple yeah 
That's a major drive for membership, eh? Yeah. <laughs> like they have like 1.5 million members around the world, apparently. It will be significantly higher if that's the way you could get abortions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez. They have. I've I've looked into their their abortion ritual before. Um, it's been a long time, so I can't remember all the details. But it's pretty interesting. You like have to go do a prayer, or you like think about your own freedom and your own autonomy and then you get a blessing or something from another person in the temple and they maybe say an oath with you and then you go pursue the procedure and then there's something you can do afterwards i could be misremembering but it's like a whole thing and people are like, people probably think that it means like, oh my God, the abortion ritual. I'm going to go like cut myself and then eat a baby. I'm going to eat this fetus, blah, blah, blah. And it's really none of that. It's like based on what Why I remember, it's like reading some words and someone giving you a blessing. I mean, I would support it if it was that. Um, but wait, your, your arm. It would be very ironic. It would be very ironic if the satanic temple grew grows in size massive in membership massively because of Christians. That would like, be would, like, that but would also be very weird. predictable. <laughs> yeah, it would be actually so not only you didn't get rid of abortion, you have made you have caused so many people, you have made Satanism. A major religion in the United States. Good, you played yourself, Christians. Congratulations, Satan is in charge right now, thanks to you. Are you happy? That would be amazing. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. Um, why is Susie Armin? Because this software is weird. You have to keep changing the picture in the background. Um, Susie, come back. I don't have anything more to say. I don't know what to do. Okay, guys. Say okay, okay, okay. Like... So, no, one thing I find really interesting is that, well, one, the Satanic Temple has other lawsuits in other states, basically along similar lines in terms of arguing for religious freedom. Um, I don't know how many other of their lawsuits also contain these arguments regarding involuntary servitude and property rights. Um, but when it comes to this religious freedom argument, there are now, there's now a Jewish group in Florida so there's a Jewish group basically suing against Florida's 15 week abortion ban on the basis of religious freedom. So now there are Jewish groups who have gone in on this using this same angle because they're like, actually like you are imposing Christian standards of when life begins and when life begins upon us, according to our faith and our practice, it's not at conception. Same thing with Muslims actually. Most readings of Islamic faith are actually more pro-abortion than Catholicism. Because yeah. the process of insolment doesn't happen until, I think, 40 weeks? I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. And I didn't think about Jews and Muslims challenging this law. Yeah, and also, yeah. D has a very good point here. Why should other religions win religious freedom lawsuits, but not the satanic temple? Good point. Because of discrimination. Well, we Central. wish the satanic temple all the luck. Yes. Nelson. And Nelson. I, if people are able to, I would suggest supporting their work if possible, because they do really cool things. Yeah. What all is right. Atheist Republic's standpoint regarding the satanic temple? They're freaking awesome. We support them, yes. They're one we, of the best organizations fighting for the preservation of secularism in America. Yeah. And also it helps that they don't actually believe in Satan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big help. That's a big help. They're just poetic atheists. Yeah. But don't tell the Christians that because then it will not fly as a religion. Shh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, actually, I don't think that you need to necessarily have belief in Satan to be a religion. So even if that was 
nobody could like argue that as long as they have deeply held beliefs exactly yeah so so even though satan is symbolic to them uh, legally they could still be a religion get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description